Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day. It's been a long day. This is uh, really quite late at night, but I am responding to a comment in uh, the comment section from a previous video about the situation that happened today in Israel, Lebanon. And what happened was several thousand pagers exploded. Nine people were killed, including a 10 year old girl. 2,700 to 3,000 people have been injured. And the questions are coming in. Is this an expansion of the war? Is it going to continue to open up? I mean, the war between Gaza Strip Hamas and the Israeli government that continues, but now Hezbollah is in on it. Hezbollah is an arm, if you will, of the Iranian theocracy. Their avowed mission, and has been since 1985, is the eradication of the state of Israel. So, you know, here we are in this mix, and here we go again. Now, of course, at this particular point in time, the Israeli government is not taking any responsibility for it. They haven't claimed credit for it. But this was an extremely sophisticated operation. And there are a lot of questions coming in, some of a technical nature. So I just want to talk about this a little bit. One of the reasons that's happened is Hezbollah and other terrorist groups have been getting away from using cell phones for communications because those mobile signals can be trapped and used to guide missiles in to kill leaders of these organizations and there have been several people who have been killed in this manner so the change was to move to these rather inexpensive pagers for the purposes of communications now, somehow, this is not, I don't want people to get the idea that any pager going can suddenly be turned into a little, you know, pocket bomb. It's not how it was. Somebody intercepted a supply chain and uh, mined these with explosives that obviously could be set off remotely and were today. So I wouldn't, I mean, I don't want people to panic about their own mobile devices. This is a very targeted operation and it was targeted against this particular group. And all I can say, I'm just sickened by it. I really am sickened by it. And I mean, expect that this is probably going to factor into making air travel a little more difficult because I can't see TSA and airlines allowing people with pagers to come aboard an aircraft. So that could complicate some people's lives, but we'll see. I am, I am just absolutely sickened by this. I can't believe it. And up on deck today, we have the Kinner Tarot deck. It's an 80 card deck, so if anything weird comes up, we'll deal with it then. But I'm not dealing with it today unless I absolutely have to. Because quite frankly, she's past my bedtime. But I wanted to get this out because somebody was kind enough to send the question in. And I think this is a really important question to get out. Okay, just doing our standard Celtic cross. And my question for the cards really at this point in time is tell me what I need to know. Tell me... Kind of give me the lay of the land. That's what I, I need because I'm sure there's a hundred places we can go deep into the weeds. So I'm looking for the, you know, the 30,000 yard perspective on this. So spirit, let me know what's going on. What do I need to know? First card up, we have the five of swords. No freaking surprise. Fives are all about conflict. Five of Swords, competition, ag aggression, discord, defeat, the whole friggin' nine yards. This 
is a card about war. And it is crossed by the High Priestess, Our Lady of Secrets. We are not going to know exactly who's behind this. This is going to be this is going to be state secret just as deep as deep can bat. Maybe some historian seventy five years from now when the archives are opened will have an idea of exactly what was done and who was authorized and when, where, what, but we ain't gonna know it. But the other thing about the high priestess as she says Follow your intuition. Like, tap into your subconscious. Use your own greater wisdom to figure out what's going on. So, who has capacity to pull this off? Mossad, the Israeli intelligence agency. They absolutely do. They have the technical capacity to be able to do this. They have infiltrated some kind of supply chain. And these pagers would have been mined with explosive prior to their distribution. So it is a pretty deep project, right? This is not done on a spur of moment. What is the purpose behind this? Why is this going on? I think Netanyahu, Netanyahu needs his war. He really does because when his government falls, which it is going to, He's on trial for corruption and a few other things, and he could spend his time in jail, right? And probably some pretty hefty criminal sanctions. So, yeah, yeah, he's got a lot of reasons to keep feeding the, the flames of war. And Hezbollah, they ain't no saints either. And neither are Hamas, right? Like, this is one of those stories where there are no heroes. There are only perpetrators and victims. And the victims are the poor Israeli people who were murdered and raped and kidnapped on the 7th of October and what has continued on with bombings and that sort of stuff. It's about the 35,000 people who have died in uh, Gaza right now, Palestinians, who have no say in their government. Like, Hamas does not represent them. Hamas rules them. And they either obey or they get dead by Hamas. And if you do obey, you get dead by the Israelis. Like, hello, there's nowhere to go here. There's nowhere to go. And this is what we have is these populations that are done. Iran, Hezbollah is their proxy agency. And... They're involved with the war in Syria, and I mean it's very complicated. And I have, I have a link in the show notes here, but an article from I can't remember who it's by right now. But it's giving you some of the background that's involved here. Not saying that it's a definitive article, but I'll give you a bit of a background on the the players that we're dealing with. Okay, there's all kinds of people who benefit greatly from this war and I, I just know this is just intuition this is just clairvoyant like or me taking a flying wild ass guess pick what term you want to use but Netanyahu is trying desperately to bring the Americans into this war that's that's what I think the ultimate goal is for Netanyahu it's putting the Americans in, and the Americans are trying desperately to stay out of it. In the past, in this reading, well, this is freaking no surprise either. We got the Three of Swords. This is a heartbreak and sorrow and depression and betrayal and things being broken up. Destruction. Like, I feel sorry for the people of Gaza. I feel sorry for the people in Israel that have suffered from this. I really do. And I have very little sympathy left from the yahoos. And I only use that word because I'm trying to keep this PG-13. For the yahoos who are stirring this up because they benefit from a, the political power within their own organizations and to hell with who gets killed. 
in the future. We have the Nine of Cups and it's in a reverse position. Nine of Cups in a reverse position. This is, you know, the Smug Merchant card, but it's upside down. And this means we're going to have a lot of unfulfillment, right? That is not coming. This card is characterized by arrogance and we have an abundance of arrogance going around and I don't care which group of leaders you're talking about. They're all arrogance putzes. And it's also a card that is about decreased security. Everybody is a little less safer because of the events that have happened today. In the sky, the reading, kind of where we're going with this, the overarching energy of it, we have the lovers now. This is a card that's often associated with love and sexuality, which doesn't really hit with this thing, but this brings back to the point I'm saying. This is about choices and choices of relationships, and that is what's going. And until people start making different choices, when they start, there can be no peace until the players involved in it want to think about something other than their own power base and their own benefits and start thinking about the populations that they rule. And that's what we're in a mess about because a lot of crocodile tears about poor, poor, poor my poor people, my poor people, da, 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 da. That's got nothing to do with that. They don't give a damn. They don't care how many bodies there are. This is all about a bunch of very arrogant men trying to fulfill their own agendas. In the foundation, what's holding this up, right? We have the Two of Swords. This is a, a card about, talks about the need for balance and to contemplate, but it is very much about being in denial and denial is very much a, a big problem that we have in this. I mean, we have groups that their whole reason for existence, Hamas and Hezbollah and the theocracy in Iran and probably some people in, in Syria, right? This whole idea of the utter destruction of the Jewish state, right? And I mean, that whole idea from the river to the sea, they want absolute decimation of the state of Israel. And, you know, there's an equal amount of animosity on the other side because everybody now feels like they're fighting for their life. And this is, you know, we're, we're caught in this emotional trap that nobody can get out of. And because nobody can get out of it, nobody's thinking. I mean, we think of the sword suite as, you know, thinking, rationality, logic, and that sort of stuff. It has gone from that because a huge element of the two of swords is willful blindness, right? I don't want to look at the facts because they lead me to have to make very difficult and excruciating decisions. There is no easy solution to this. And that is something we all have to get through our heads. The whole idea that somebody's going to come up with something. Joe Biden is going to snap his fingers and everybody's going to come to their senses. Get off. Get out of here. Get out of here. Right? People have to take this seriously. This problem has been, what, 80 years in development? Well, probably further than that. I mean, this is one of the bonuses packages that comes with colonialism. So, I mean, we can probably go back a century when we look at the roots of this. So there's not going to be any snap decision. And this whole idea that, you know, America can somehow make it all better in a hurry and that Joe Biden's at fault or Kamala Harris is at fault or da la da 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 da. No. And electing Trump won't make it better either. Message from Spirit. This is a very discouraging card. It's the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, this is a card about overwhelming emotions. I mean, literally, the cup runneth over, as you can see. And we often think of this as about love and happiness and creativity and, you know, 
those kind of positive feelings of abundance and joy. Not necessarily. That overwhelming emotion can be hatred, rage, desire for revenge, vengeance, all of these negative things. And I'm certainly very much aware of this being a huge one. We are not dealing any, nobody in this situation is acting rationally. And I don't want to hear the people that are coming in and saying, well, you know, the Israelis are more rational and the Arabs aren't. No, there is no, there's cunning all the way around, right? Once again, a bunch of men who are using this situation to advance their own personal agenda and to hell with everybody else. That is one of the emotions that are involved here. In the environment, what's going on around? What about the people who have to live with the consequences of this? We have the Ten of Cups in a reverse position. Now, this is the card that is a political terrorist. I think of as the voters card. Although Israel is the only voting group, the people in Gaza have no say in Hamas. They haven't held an election since something like 2006. So these people are trapped in this totalitarian authoritarian government. Hezbollah, I don't think has much more, although technically Lebanon is a democracy. But the Ten of Cups in a reverse position, the, the body politic, however, it's organized. There's a lot of disharmony. There's a lot of dysfunction. This is tearing civil society apart. And it doesn't matter. I mean, the, there are people in Israel that are suffering greatly. I mean, they may have a child that is missing. They may have a child that was killed on the seventh or a husband or whatever, but also the people in Gaza are suffering. And there are parents that have a 10 year old child to bury today. So yeah, we got lots of, we got lots of the overwhelming emotions and disharmony at work and at play hopes and fears card we have the emperor and he is in a reversed position emperor when he's reversed his verse it's this is stubborn this is like nobody's going to give an inch because they see giving in and making things more pliable and working with other people as a sign of weakness so if Hamas gives an inch, they, they feel that they're being weak. If Netanyahu gives an inch, he feels that he is going to be interpreted as being weak. So it just fuels this recklessness, which is very much a part of the emperor when he's reversed. The emperor, when he's upright, represents the rule of law. When he's reversed, we're looking at decision making being made by leaders who are completely out of touch with the realities of the people on the ground. And once again, like I said, let's be very clear here. There are no heroes in this story. None. No heroes. There is just different shades and colors of complete and utter bastards. Final outcome. Actually, a good card. Took you long enough to get here. We have the Knight of Cups. Once again, back into an emotional seat. Knight of Cups, we always associate him with, you know, romance and chivalry and that sort of stuff. But, and he's unpredictable. That's like the key point. You never know what he's going to do next. It's going to be something completely out of left field. It is going to come as a surprise and nobody sees it coming. But the other thing that people often forget about when they're looking at the, the Knight of Cups is he's a peacemaker. That's his raison d'etre. He is a peacemaker. So at some point in time, someone is going to show up here on the scene that can make some inroads into it. He's not here yet. It's still the final outcome. Right now, I'm afraid that the emperor is still ruling the roost. And that's why we have all that heartbreak and betrayal that we see in the Three of Swords. And what we have for a shadow card in this reading is the Five of Pentacles. And we all know what that one means. 
loss, despair, hardship, and poverty. This situation is not going to end quickly. There is going to be, I mean, this, this, this reading is just almost bleeding with human suffering, right? So it is going to continue on for a long period of time. I have no idea whether or not the Americans are going to get pulled into this. I don't think immediately right now and what might be saving everything is the fact that there is an election ongoing and that probably there is an unwillingness for America to commit to some kind of foreign adventure this close to the election. All bets are off I think after that. I think, knock on wood, that the Americans are smart enough to stay out of this because it will only inflame the situation because if the Americans are going to get involved with this, then Syria is going to get involved with this and Syria is backed up by Russia and it's just going to become another element of this. And so, yes, the Americans are working triple time on the diplomatic circuit, right? I personally believe that the attack on the 7th of October was because there was going to be a diplomatic breakthrough and a reestablishment or an establishment of diplomatic relationships between the State of Israel and Saudi Arabia. And I think the attack on the 7th of October was for the purpose of scuttling that, which of course it did, it's on hold. And that's when, and nobody can kind of get up and we're in this lockdown. This is really like a World War I situation where it's almost like trench warfare, right? Where people just, just throw bodies, just gr the grind, right? This is going to be another meat grinder situation. I mean, how much more meat grinder do we need? We've got 34,000 plus dead in Gaza. We've got polio breaking out. We've got people starving to death. We have everybody living in a state of panic, right? And a state of fear and insecurity. I can't imagine. I mean, I'm just, you know, your basic dumb, fat, happy Canadian. So I really can't appreciate what these people are going through. But I do know that Ace of Cups that overwhelming emotion, that's what's driving this right now. Everybody has got it so ramped up that, you know, the clarity of thought and the intellect and the rationality that might be with any of those sorts really isn't going to be able to cut through, right? Five of Swords, we're talking about Discord. Three of Swords, Heartbreak and Betrayal. And, you know, the Two of Swords, Difficult Decisions and a state of denial, you know, the willful blindness. So n the swords can't move right now because we have so much negative energy pouring out of the cups. So, so we've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Ace of Cups. None of them are helping the situation. The Nine of Cups, right? That arrogance that is going with it. So this is, to me, a really, really bad situation, and I don't foresee it getting, getting better sooner. Is it going to spread? I don't think any of us can make that prediction right now. I think there are definite attempts to try and make it go into a wider thing, trying to push it. The Israelis want to push it so that the Americans have to get involved, right? And the other people, you know, Iran, Syria, the terrorist organizations, they're all involved in for, for their own power jockeying also, right? So there are no angels in this story is what I'm trying to say. So don't get caught up in it. Well, they started it. This has been going on. For 80 years, there is so much injustice in this situation that we really need to sit down and think. But until people can get over the vengeance, that overwhelming emotion, there's going to be no movement on this. 
And like I said, at this point, I am trusting the Americans to use their head and keep out of it physically. Although they are working double time on the diplomatic angles, trying to, you know, throw a little oil on the troubled waters, if you will. So that's kind of my flying by the ass my pants take on this situation. Thank the reader very much, or I guess you're a viewer. So thank the viewer very much for sending in the question. And I hope I answered what you, you were looking for. And if you like these kind of readings, give her a thumbs up. If you are interested in becoming part of this community, because we're really nice people and I get the smartest questions from you guys. Absolutely. Feel free to subscribe. And the comment section, love to hear from you. And I will do my level best to put whatever questions you give to me to the cards. Although right now I realize I am running a backlog because wow, just can't keep up. The news cycle is getting ahead of me every time I turn around. So on that note, I'm going to stop flapping my lips and I am going to go get ready for bed and say good night. And I will talk to you later. Bye bye for now.